Welcome back. Uh, let's talk about some uh, stocks which are buzzing around right now. At the high point of trade is Tata Consumer. Remember, all of last week it was a little volatile. There was news about a big impending acquisition, etc. Asian Paints is the other one which is doing well, and that's uh, counterintuitive given the rise that we've seen in crude prices over the last couple of trading sessions. But despite that, we're seeing a bit of an up move out there. But in the consumer space itself, we have DFM Foods, which is uh, buzzing around, and this despite the company receiving an order from uh, the DG GST. What is uh, uh, the claim of the DG GST? They're saying that the company has been misclassifying its products and as a result of which they're paying less GST than they're supposed to. And as a result of which the differential that they're supposed to pay is close to around 101 odd crore rupees. And on top of that, there has been a 101 crore penalty which has been levied. But on its part, the company says that they don't expect any financial implication basis advice from their advocates and that they are not misclassifying that. In fact, they've gone ahead and suggested that they will appeal against this order itself. So as a result of which, we aren't seeing a big downtick on the stock already. But remember, the other trigger for the stock, of course, is the voluntary delisting that was announced at a revised offer price of around 264 odd rupees. And as a stock itself, you know, DFM Foods hasn't moved virtually in the last five years or so. Today, the stock is up 1.3%. If you looked at it, uh, you know, the last five years, the stock has seen volatile runs, but point to point comparison, it's up just around one odd percent. So today's move and the GST thing has not much to do with it as, uh, uh, you know, the voluntary delisting has uh, with uh, DFM Foods. Okay, so that is the update on DFM.